Oh, oh, oh my god! Little baby sheep! Yay! Yay, sheep! Alright, stay with me forever. Never leave. Learn to fly and come with me. Away we go! <laughs> oh, shit. How's it going guys? My name's Graham and welcome to Air, Memories of Old. Thank you to the developers for Forgotten Key for sending me a key to this. It's a weird sentence to say key so close together twice like that. This game comes out tomorrow. I'm very excited to be sharing it with you. It seems like a cool, relaxed, open world adventure. It's basically the gist of what I know about it. Mm, Auk, listen. Auk? Auk, I, I should probably get the main character's name right. I know you're eager to explore, but the pilgrimage is important to the people of the sky. As you know, in the early days before the Great Divide, the lands were very different from now. Instead of islands in the sky, the lands were one, and the ancients inhabited the world. They built great structures, among them three temples, here in the land of gods. Your journey will lead you to all three of them. I have very Zelda-like to be adventuring into temples, but something changed. The ancients somehow caused the Great Divide, shattered the lands, and left us with islands in the sky. The priestess Kara prayed by the lighthouse and found answers that helped our people survive the Great Cataclysm. The first stop for every pilgrim is to visit Kara's shrine. So go on in, Auk. Auk? I'll just go with Auk. And we'll wait for you outside. I like the, uh, the low-poly art style they went with here. Gives it kind of a, a certain simplistic charm, wouldn't you say? Ooh. I know that the main character has the ability to transform into the bird. For anyone who hasn't seen anything uh, of this game before, you can turn into a bird. Apparently she has very minor bird powers even when she's not a bird. I think calling it a minor bird power is accurate, seeing as she essentially just floated. It's not, <laughs> it's not a very stellar bird power, but it's something. It's more bird powers than I personally have, so give her a little bit of credit for that. Oh man, I wonder how many awesome just like vistas and environments I'll have to just kind of take in. I kind of love that in games, just having the opportunity to stand and just take a look around, see what they're, see what the world has to offer. I personally have not played Breath of the Wild yet, but it's very high up on my list, and that's one of the reasons is I just want to. This is kind of filling that void for me right now. Is I just want to have a fun adventure. Look around at awesome scenery and just kind of take in the world here. The memory of light in our heart, shining with the name Kara. Her lantern guided and protected us when the world shattered and we became the people of the sky. Was that also when you adopted your, like, airplane-shaped hairdos? It's kind of what that <laughs> evokes in me. It's kind of like the wings of an airplane. Or the wings of any flying anything, I suppose. It doesn't necessarily have to be an airplane. Ah, yes, the ancient squirrel wolf. Majestic beasts they were, though rather hyper, and though they enjoyed traveling in packs, they would often lose their companions. Isn't that a thing squirrels lose, like, nine-tenths of all the nuts they hide? I think I just, I'm gonna keep ascending. I got another plaque, placard up ahead here that I can investigate, learn a bit more about the cloud people, air people, what were they called? Even the Hall of Memory, where sleeps the light of Kara, it never went out while she was alive. Ask, and maybe it will shine forth to answer you. Who do I ask? I guess I'll ask in the Hall of Memory, which presumably is up ahead here. It's, uh, it's not a very good directory board. If this was a mall, I would certainly be lost. I need, I need arrows, please. A, a nice you are here marker would be helpful as well. Approach. Is this Kara and that's her lantern? Probably. Based on the very little info I was given, I think that's a safe inference. Make your offering of some delicious minty summer morning incense. Oh, the lantern. It's yours now. Uh, Ock. <laughs> Is your your gifted the the one true lantern? Oh shit! But it takes you to the upside down or something. The lantern's no good. 
Put the lantern back, it was a trick! This is an evil thing that's happened to you. Hawk. Yes. No, wait. No, don't use the lantern again. That was plenty of lanterning as is. Oh god. Oh god, you can see like dead people with the lanterns. Dead people with exclamation marks on their face. <laughs> because these characters don't have any like real facial features. They uh they don't they can't express themselves with their eyes, mouths, eyebrows, all that normal stuff that people use to show emotion. Instead they just have like punctuation and emojis that show up across their face. Alright, I'm gonna try and jump this gap, but I don't think that's actually where I'm trying to go to. Shit. Alright. Down in the valley. The valley way we go. I assume I go this way, right? It felt like it was pushing me this way. What is happening with all these crazy stone growths coming out of everywhere? Ooh, I'm running down like a river or something. Is the game scripted to not drop uh, those big boulders and stuff on my head? Because I would really appreciate not getting my skull crushed by a big rock early on in the game. And it seems like there's a real risk of that happening. That one looked like it hit me a little bit. Can I squeeze through here? Uh, nope, but I maybe just got myself a little bit stuck. Hmm, where could I go instead? I wouldn't call this uh, mine or caves collapse imminent. I think there's time to explore, go into little side tunnels, see what's available to you. I mean, you made the journey all the way here. You don't wanna, you don't wanna leave too soon before you've had your fill, had your fill of sweet, sweet cave secrets. We're the people of the sky. I haven't been I haven't seen any people of the caves yet. Presumably if there's only some people that live up in the sky, that means there's a bunch of uh, solitary like mole men in this world as well. I think that's a relatively safe assumption. Hmm, just little entrance markers, nothing to interact with. Here you are. Here's the cave person. Uck. <laughs> it just every time I don't know, I'm probably it's supposed to be like auk or auk. Or something oak maybe it's supposed to be oak but when I see it I just think ugh and then it's just like every time someone encounters this character they're like ugh, you again oh <laughs> you made it okay god I was hoping that cave would crush you thank the gods you're all right what happened in there I thought the worst when the cave collapsed is that the lantern hmm, strange that lantern is an ancient artifact called Kara's light Somehow it shines for you. It's the first time in generations. Keep it safe for now. I'll stay here to investigate the shrine. Meanwhile, you should continue your pilgrimage. There's a village over by the lighthouse. Just follow the kites to get there. Talk to Diana when you arrive, and she will tell you where to go next. Oh, jeez, I get to turn into a bird already? That was, like, immediate. I just kind of want to look around my immediate surroundings here. Discovered the settlement. I hope I have a lot of freedom to move around in this game. I didn't want to mention this right away because I wanted to get right into the game, but now seems like a good time to mention it. Mention it. This game was developed over the course of like five years, and specifically, they said it took two years of fine tuning during that dev time to make sure the flying felt right, which. I'm very eager to see what the flying is like. Guess I gotta turn into a bird now. <laughs> yeah! Okay. I was about to fall to my doom, so it seemed like a, as good a time as any. Alright, but I wanted to investigate this before I left. I wanted to see, oh, it's just a fun little, like, birdhouse or something. I guess? I guess that's what it is. It's a very fancy birdhouse. I've personally never made, like, uh, a secret, sacred, soul-powered birdhouse before, but I would if I had the right materials. Oh, dope! I want to go check out that waterfall. This is what I... Nope, nope, don't, don't... There we go. That's the button I wanted. This. This is the sort of stuff that I wanted in this game. I just wanted to come look at cool, like, waterfalls and stuff. Whoa, is there fall damage? We'll see. Pretty sweet swan dive there. Ock. There's the kites to follow, but I mostly am just goofing around for the time being. Oh, I, I should I should play around with the banking a little bit and see how, learn how to control that some. But I also just want a good, nice, gorgeous look at, at this beautiful, majestic hawk or eagle that you've become. What was that? What's the, all these things darting around me here? I, they're, they're too fast. I don't think I can actually catch any of them. 
Is there some sort of sacred pool or something that I can investigate? Come find who's down the well? Is anyone... Is there, is there random... Ooh, I can bust out my lantern any time as well. I was curious if maybe some poor fellow had fallen down the well. I have no idea if this game has side quests. Someone forgot their golf bag here. Someone was playing some nice uh, golf between islands here. They must have drove it into the rough and had to go go, go fetch it. Maybe they, they hit it in the water trap, got frustrated, and flew away. That's enough of that shit. I don't want to do that no more. There's a weird lone island way out this way that I'm going to go investigate. Oh god, I'm coming in hot. Uh, oh god. <laughs> okay. It's uh, it's easier than I thought it would be to decide when to pull out of out of that. I thought it would be super sketchy trying to go from like this maximum speed here and then trying to to, to land like that. Boy, back to the settlement. There's like a little bit of like a, a Stonehenge going on there or something. There's lots of like air currents blowing through it. I want to try and fly across to there. I'm not very good at banking yet. All right, let's see what happens if we put ourselves straight through here. Nuts! All right, here's the cheater way. Just do it straight from the ground. Whoa! I think it was just regular. <laughs> oh, look at this crazy floating stone thing, though. Let's go up on top of it. Hiya! Oh, we overshot. <laughs> I don't think there's anything up there, anyways. Oh, is this the settlement? These are all the the buildings and everything in the area. Well, maybe they were at some point. They look, uh, the settlement looks a little bit run down these days. How many times am I going to turn into a bird trying to, like, double jump across something and then just ended up ending up doing something like that? Alright, they told me to follow the kite, so I should probably do that. But first, let's go sailing. Nope. <laughs> Missed the boat, as they say. Not a real option. I'm really enjoying this really, like, calm, serene banjo music. Who would have thought that banjo could do anything other than sound like silly, folksy, hillbilly music? Hopefully the Mumford and Sons don't watch this. They'll have a fit. Alright, I've somewhat lost track. I should have been using the north-south and everything to uh, keep track of where I had and hadn't been. Here's something new, though. This looks like an important little settlement. I'll just read this book. Oh, yeah, you can. I didn't know if I actually would be able to. I am Yohal. Yohal, how you doing? Of the Southern Isles, and this is the first entry in the tale of my people. Our homelands around the city of Urzha are shattered. The world broke apart. I think it has to do with the ending of the Great War against On. I have gathered the survivors who have made camp among the islands now floating in the sky. I used broken stones to sail towards the land of gods. I hope to find answers there. I called for the spirit animals, but can't tell if they heard me. Before I leave, I saw a sickness take hold of the tree. Of a tree, covering it in black rock. I must warn the other clans. I have no idea if I have, like, a quest log or anything like that. Oh, I do have a map, though. Right. Right, right, right. Okay. I can I can get a sense of where I've actually been then, which is going to be very helpful. Hmm. I thought maybe I had flown around a wider area than that. I have no idea if, if this game has side quests, like if I just uncovered something. Whoa. Okay, it looks like I can go through this doorway there. But let me just think on some of what we just learned from that book there. So first off... The spirit animals, does that mean not everyone can turn into a bird? Maybe different uh, people can turn into different things? That remains to be seen. And he said he flew away in a big black rock, which is very interesting to me. So does that mean that even if you your spirit animal isn't a bird, maybe at least you can use some sort of special powers to make other things fly? Whatever the same magic is that makes these islands float, I suppose, could also be used to make a, a rock boat. Let's try and go through here. Uh, nothing. I got nothing from that. What if I fly through there? Nope. No way. Let's just bank our way back around here. Line ourselves up and try that flight thing again. Hmm. Huh. Just more questions, I suppose. I'd be curious to see if I can find another person, like, chilling out in one of these areas. I haven't seen other people yet. Is this the cave? 
This is the cave entrance, right? Yes, yes it is. All right, well, let's see if I explore around here just a tiny bit more. Oh, that's cool. A chunk of the island just kind of broke away there and now is, now is floating. I like how you can see where the different parts broke away. This looks like a weird giant Easter Island head or something. I think it's a cloud. I think it's just a cloud. I should try and fly into a cloud just to see what happens. Whoa, oh shit. Okay, that was cooler than I expected. Ah, oh, fun. I really didn't know what to expect what would happen there. Oh wait, I have no idea where I was trying to go anymore. I've been having too much fun just zooming around this map here. All right, follow the kites. And they had me going off somewhere around this direction, I think. I think. Oh wait, if there's people anywhere in this world, it's going to be on this island, right? Oh, oh, there's like sheep or something. Let's go play with the little ducklings and the sheep or whatever the hell they are. Oh, oh, oh my god. Little baby sheep, I unlocked an achievement. Mama? Yay! Yay, sheep! Alright, stay with me forever. Never leave. Learn to fly and come with me. Away we go! <laughs> oh, shit. I'm sorry. Don't listen to what I say. That's wrong. That's not how you do it. I'm gonna have to... I'm gonna swoop down as an eagle and grab this mama up with my talons so I can take her babies forever. I just want to love them and hold them and cuddle around with them. This, where's the where's the button to lay down on the ground so I can just snuggle up with my little babies? Oh, it's just wonderful. All right, did you give up on them? Or are you not coming back to them? You should probably go back and look after your babies after all. But maybe I go explore this cave here? This is definitely not where I was meant to go. I think, I, I think it's not where I was meant to go. I think I just found like a little side thing to do. The story so far has some uh, generic feeling elements to it of like, oh, the Great Divide, and I don't know, just that name in general. Discovered the Pilgrim Study. Just that name in general kind of sounds like, I don't know, I've, I've been there, done that. So I'm kind of just zooming around in the, in the side world, because exploring is what I'm most excited about in this game right now. That's what I really want to be doing. I can't read this. It's written in a language I don't know, and much of it is broken and almost unreadable anyways. Maybe Medvin knows how to decipher it. Uh, I wonder if Medvin is the old dude who we met just outside the cave there. Probably the same thing, right? Probably can't read these. All right. Well, let's see. Let's see who we could who we could find. Who who might be hanging out down in here? Perhaps an owl-based character. Who knows? Who could say for sure? Uh, hmm, maybe nothing, though. Can I fly in the cave? You cannot. You can't fly in the cave. Uh, huh. Well, I discovered a new area, which is cool, but I don't think I can actually really do anything there right now. Let's, uh, carry on maybe more towards where we were actually meant to go. I saw E and then the halfway, the S, the halfway at the top here and on my compass, and it just looked like it was icy, and I thought maybe it was saying that's where I was. Nope. Just a compass. Hmm. Oh, shit, people. What the hell? <laughs> I was just about to say, look how abandoned all of this looks. Except for this part. This part's completely unabandoned. There's actually people just hanging out here. Let's have a chat with some random dude with great hair and some awesome pink pants. Hey, ugh, and welcome. What was that noise we heard? What? You made it out okay? I'm John, by the way. Diana and I take care of the lighthouse here on the island. Oh, is this where I was meant to come to? I was meant to come to the lighthouse, wasn't I? Or didn't he say it was someone beyond the lighthouse? No, I think he said go to the lighthouse, talk to Diana. She would let you know where to go next. All right. We try to make sure that nothing weird happens in the land of gods. Not an easy job considering all the strange old ruins and wonders here. I haven't had much time to visit them since Aaron was born, but I don't mind. I think she longs for adventure, which makes her father proud. Me. I'm her father. I'm proud. It's just very difficult for me to say that. I come from a very unloving home where pride is something to be uh, ashamed of. <laughs> if you have the time, I would recommend you go to the Windsong Falls. Are you just recommending like a vacation spot for me? Or are you like, I think you've really enjoyed it. It's a good place to kick up your feet and relax. When the world was whole, a water spirit combed her hair at the stream there. Beautiful. Beautiful hair at that. 
The winds sang to make her hair flow down until it mixed with the clouds. Thus the rainbow was born. I wonder if this is based on the real mythology of a specific culture. Not that I've ever seen one there myself, but it's a nice story. Anyway, you can find the place just north of here. Continue beyond the clouds. That probably is where I'll head next, but I'll go visit with uh, Diana and Aaron first, I think. It's probably probably the smart decision. Are you okay? Ugh. It was ugh, right? We heard rumblings from Kara's shrine. I'm so glad you made it out. My name is Diana, and welcome. It was a long time ago we had a pilgrim here. Your mentor, Medvin, was actually the last one before you. My parents helped him back then. Now I, John, and our daughter Erin will help you. You haven't had a visitor in that long, like an entire generation? Maybe she just maybe a pilgrim is something very specific in this world though. Like uh, a career adventurer. If you ever feel lost, just return here and talk to us. We are here to guide you after all. That's great, thank you. Every pilgrim's journey requires a visit to the three temples in the land of gods. Kara sealed them a long time ago, right after the Great Divide. Yeah, she also sealed away her lantern, and guess who has that now? There's a sigil in the ground, close to each temple. That's where we gather to pay respects to the spirits, and so you too should go there. Sacred words are revealed to those who approach with an open mind. The Eventide Sanctuary is closest, and you will find it northwest of here. Well, good news, I was heading north anyways. That works out splendidly, and Aaron? Ugh! Ugh! <laughs> What's... That's your name, right? Right? What happened? Did you see any ghosts or spirit animals? Treasures? Secrets? I want to explore too. It's so unfair that I'm stuck on this island. Sometimes I go on adventures with my parents, but it's still adventures. We once went to a super awesome place. It's up north. It's kind of snowy. With this huge statue. It's kind of broken, but still cool. And my name's Aaron, so you know. More things to do northwards of here. Let me look at the map again. And... Oh, okay, there, there's the lighthouse. You can see it right on the map. That's that's where I'm at. Can can I... That that big thing up there, that specifically is the lighthouse? Oh, look, more sheep. Maybe I should be friends with more sheep. Maybe I should go investigate these like hieroglyphs or whatever they would be. I guess it's more just like a regular painting. It's not really a, a glyph of any kind. Let's run up these stairs. <laughs> I just feel so wild and free. I just want to explore everything. Oh, look, there is a kite actually marking this place. There's several kites marking the way along here. My random exploring, I guess, just kind of eventually pointed me here. The, a big floating rock like this is, uh, is quite intriguing. It's hard to, hard to pass up an opportunity like that. What about this little altar at the bottom here? This must be the lighthouse. It doesn't seem to do anything right now. I should come back here later. Hmm. Three triangle things. I have three temples. Three uh, markings, the three lines, whatever this pyramid is and that uh, other double pyramid. Those are probably the markings of the three different dungeons, if I had to guess. That's a pretty pretty likely assessment, wouldn't you say? Oh man, some of that is really cool, where I don't even have to jump off of anything. When you just walk off of an edge and turn into a bird, like, I still activate it, but that... That feels really good. Uh, you can tell the time and care that was put into the flight mechanics and stuff like that. I imagine it didn't take two years straight, but however long and how many, however many different iterations of improvement it went through was definitely worth it, because that feels really good. Flying around feels better than walking does in this game, honestly, which I think in a lot of ways is probably the point. You're probably supposed to feel free and uh, wanting to fly and soar around the world. So anyways, there you have it, guys. This is air. The game is set to be about, uh, I think I read three to five, maybe six hours, depending on how leisurely your playthrough is, which mine is kind of seeming to be very. I think it's going to fall somewhere in the very leisurely playthrough, so hopefully that's something that you guys enjoy and will want to see more of. It's seeming like uh, exactly what I was wanting. This is fi filling a niche in in my life in terms of games right now that I, I really needed so I'm so looking forward to playing it I'm looking forward to becoming uh, a shepherd rounding up every sheep I can find in this entire game and and making them follow me forever good good it looks like I can't chase them off the edge I was a little fearful if that happened I was gonna have to jump off the edge and rescue him thank you guys so much for watching Look at that cool Nightmare Before Christmas swirl of a cloud. <laughs> Thank you for watching, and I'll see you again soon.